Biggest, the brightest, the best. Canada is a country of superlatives. Adding spice to their new Canadian home is a large Indian diaspora. Sharing a common colonial heritage. It's no surprise that Indians found their way to Canada. Of course, India being part of the uh, British Empire at the time, uh, we looked to encourage those people to come to Canada as well. With hope shining in their eyes, thousands of young, robust Indian men set sail towards this distant land. A hundred years on, this perseverance has paid off. Today, Indians are amongst Canada's most successful minorities. But less than a century ago, their forefathers enjoyed no such comfort. The anti-Asian lobby in British Columbia succeeded in getting regulations put in place that stopped all, almost all immigration from India. Indians now needed to embark on a continuous journey using a single ticket and also have $200 with them on arrival. In an effort to fulfill these conditions, Gurdit Singh, a Sikh leader, chartered the Komagatha Maru to carry Indians to Canada. They spent two months simply sitting out in the harbor at Vancouver, well out from shore. For Vancouver's tiny Indian community, this was a wake-up call. The Gadar movement, along with the Khalsa Divan Society, agitated to ensure equal rights, especially the right to vote. Something in um, kind of the Indian culture that we, we definitely have uh, democracy uh, built into us. I think that, that if you want to make your society, life better in this society, you have to then function as a Canadian. Talk about the issues that affect Canadians at large. This increased engagement with local issues had international ramifications. Canada opened up to the world, focused on attracting the brightest and the best. I came to uh, Canada because I wanted to study. I all have come to make money here and a better life. I migrated because of love. Canada was a home that wasn't, that wasn't, that was actually not a home that I chose but became a home. As Indians established themselves economically, they felt the need to express themselves. I was really intrigued by Indian classical music. I found that it helped me maybe connect to my, my roots. Okay, I grew up, believe it or not, listening to Muhammad Rafi. I love music from all over the world, but India have that special part in my, in my heart. Canadians' appreciation and engagement with India has greatly increased in the last decade that's seen India open its doors to foreign trade. After all, we are looked at as a future superpower. We are two of the largest countries in the world. We have a lot to share uh, on the innovation front, on the technology front, uh, to improve the productivity of, of companies, businesses in both countries. One of the strengths that we bring to the table when we travel to India is such a strong Indo-Canadian population and influence for good here in Ontario. Over the last four decades, Indo-Canadians have revitalized the economy. We have those two dimensions to the business contribution. You know, the, the people have done very well in the established corporate Canada and the others who are creating the new innovative ideas that are helping the economy boom. We came in a job, but we have given many more jobs. There's a sizable, you know, large and growing 
very vibrant Indian community in Canada. India is not just on streets and homes, in universities and offices, but in every heart in Canada. I always say I'm Indian on the inside. So I'm now cooking Indian food, I'm cooking dal and these things. India has become such an important part of my life. India ka hai na, batura, chana batura, biryani, oh my goodness. Mera pita ji hai chin. Still I like India, my best country in the world. This subtle intermingling of cultures is what adds breathtaking detail to the canvas that is Canada. Every time I look in a book, I look for the Indian flag and the Ukrainian flag because I know that's, that's where my mom and dad came from. Scratch the surface of superficial differences and what lies beneath is a world of similarity. It's normal for us Canadians to embrace every culture. We're brought up with it, and I think we're richer because of it. Giving life to Chantal's words is a band led by a husband. Galicia, or tapestry, encompasses almost all of Canada. Some of the songs actually uh, were attractive to me because they sounded very Punjabi type. As a new dawn arrives, Indians in Canada come together to celebrate. And joining them in this celebration is all of Canada. I think that we've developed a very comfortable uh, relationship here where Indians feel at home. So the relationship would be something like, you know, that your relationship with your mom and with the woman you fell in love with. I'm proud to sing O Canada. I'm proud to sing the Indian National Anthem. And again, that is the beauty of this country.